right, we're here with his buckness, Little C. <laughs> so tell me, uh, I guess the first question, this should be the most important question, uh, what's the most buck thing you've seen for season nine so far? Man, for season nine, the buckiest thing I've seen thus far, that's a hard one, because I've seen, I've seen an abundance of buckness, you know, from the audition cities uh -huh. to the contestants that, you know, the rest of us judges have not had the privilege of seeing because we've only done our, you know, respected cities. Sure. So now in Vegas, we get to see all the talent that, you know, Nigel and Mary were raving about. So it's like, you know, there's a lot of different layers of buckness in that as well. But I will say a couple of my highlights have been, my highlight thus far has been Hampton, uh, Exorcist. Soul Exorcist. Story. Yes. Okay. Because um, I, I just really enjoy with me being such a street dancer uh -huh. and me being so expressive within my, my art form and loving to tell a story. I love how people can garner a specific respect for street dance and understanding the fact that there is a very tough curriculum behind figuring out a way to represent the music at its highest form wow. and make people feel something while you're doing that when you're doing something that quote unquote has no specific curriculum because they look at it as freestyle but when uh -huh. you understand that freestyle is technique within that as well so sure. it's been a highlight for me do you think the exorcist and you know other related dancers are gonna you know do you think he's gonna be able to cut it with the other styles that's always 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 the fork in the road that goes for the most um, amazing uh, to contemporary dancer, to you know, the ballroom champions, sure. to the people who are excellent at hip hop, uh -huh. and you know, in their own styles. You know, choreography is such a different game because now it's not about you uh, being at a podium and you know, open mic night and giving a free form speech. Sure. Now it has to do with you being able to speak somebody else's dialect, mm -hmm. and you have to have the proper enunciation and the proper <laughs> diction while you are speaking that lingo. Sure. So that's always, always the challenge, it's always the breaking point, always. And do you find it a challenge to judge some of these other styles that you're not as familiar with? I mean, over the years, I guess you've learned, but... Um, I don't find it challenging to judge other styles because for me, I believe that movement is so extremely relative. And I believe it's the basis in you know, which objective you're looking at the paradigm from. Because for me, music is communication. Um, music is, is, well, movement is communication, movement is art, movement is love, movement is pain, it's victory, it's, it's, it's failure, it's so many different things, and it's the way that people interpret what they hear, and then they allow their body to represent what the sound would look like, no matter what style they're dancing. So you can't so, even interview without, yeah, without expressing yeah, exactly. your style. So when it comes to me, you know, adjudicating movement, it's what I do because movement is my specialty. That's awesome. And expression is as well. So, so where else can we see uh, some of the work you're doing besides just so you think you could dance? Man, you can check me out, man. I'm um, like I announced on, you know, the show last year, I'm doing music. Um, it's going pretty well. Um, I got about six, seven, eight videos up right now. Got a first songs on YouTube on uh, iTunes. It's called Function, featuring okay. T-Fly. Releasing an EP called 2012 uh -huh. in about two and a half weeks. So you can check me out. YouTube, turn on your TV, <laughs> do some channel surfing, the net. Do we have some, so you everywhere. think you could dance uh, dancers on, on your videos? Or have you done that yet? Or no, is it but I did just create a dance craze called the Ocho Cinco. Oh, yeah? And you can catch that tutorial. And you know, my boy Twitch is in there with me helping me facilitate the moves and teaching people oh, how, that, nice. how that new dance goes. <laughs> so, All right. And I got cameos from a lot of the So You Think You Can Dance uh, alumni as well in my videos because, you know, we're all, we're all a, a close-knit family. So. Nice. Yeah. One last question. Uh, yep. uh, what do you think of the change to just having one night and no results show? Um, I'm always... Um, ready to adapt to change because it's not so much of how it affects me I always just want to see how it's going to affect the contestants or how it's going to affect the audience and the core demographic that you know we are um, catering to sure. so I'm always you know ready and, and, and curious at how they're going to ingest the change okay. how they're going to adapt to it so. yeah. should be exciting thanks yes. for your time no thank you pleasure's all mine